sub, I've got a test of your epic Minecraft skills. A challenge worthy of a pro such as yourself. But for this one, you'll need to pull out all of the stops. Because by the end of today, I want you to be able to say, I beat Minecraft without leaving a minecart. I mean, what actually classes as beating Minecraft? Just killing the Ender Dragon? Sounds easy. But what about completing every single advancement in the game? Now that sounds like a challenge. But to make it worse, you'll have to do it all while in a minecart. Don't you just love me, Sub? I know you do. To start off, I want you to sleep in this bed here, Sub. I mean, that sounds really nice and easy, right? Just a little snooze to start off your achievement hunting to get sweet dreams. Ah, nice! Now you're energized for the day. Hop into that car there and set off. You'll be given the items you need as you go along the track. Thanks to our clever redstone mechanics, all you need to do is perform the tasks and stay in that minecart. There's a skeleton over 50 blocks away. Shoot and kill it with the crossbow. Earning yourself old beauty. Take aim, sniper do, and monster hunter. And then shoot that target to get a bullseye. Wow, you're on a roll. Shoot that line of five mobs to get who's the pillager now. And our ballistic for killing an illager. And also five mobs with one shot. Shoot those two phantoms to get two birds one shot. And then deflect a gas ball to kill a gas that you previously brought home from the nether, giving you return to sender. And also uneasy alliance. At this point in the track, some harming potions will cause you enough damage to trigger the Totem of Undying for Post-Mortal. Shoot your enchanted trident at the caged villager, and then zap it with lightning for a throwaway joke, and also very, very frightening. Then finish the witch you created off to tick it off the hostile mobs list. Then quickly turn to the water and fish yourself, uh, well, a fish, for the advancement fishy business. That nether portal right there should help trigger we need to go deeper. Seems like an awful lot of hostile mobs here, sub. Let's kill all the ones you haven't already for monsters hunted. Now it's time to get some of the crafting done, sub. Mine that stoner there for Stone Age. And then take a look at the materials that were dispensed into your inventory. Grab the iron from the furnace for acquired hardware. And those diamonds you just got gave you the advancement for diamonds. Next, Craft an iron chest plate, diamond chest plate, a stone pick, and an iron pick. And then combine a diamond hoe with that netherite ingot so you can get suit up. Isn't it iron pick? Cover me with diamonds, getting an upgrade, and serious dedication. Now use that book with the lapis on the enchanting table to get enchanter. Make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for Minecraft Bedrock Edition from G2A. Keep riding, sub. What items have you got left? Ah, that shield could be used to deflect the bow of a skeleton for not today. Thank you. And you can use your diamond pickaxe to mine that ancient debris for hidden in the depths. Even then, let's clear that inventory and give you some new items. Full netherite armor for cover me in debris. And a bucket to pick up that lava there for hot stuff. Good job, sub. Glad you're keeping track of all this. This dispenser has just given you a golden apple, splash potion of weakness, golden ingots, and an emerald. Nice! You must need to cure that zombie villager there. It'll take some time, but spend it mining this obsidian block for the ice bucket challenge and zombie doctor. If you're enjoying the ride as much as I am so far, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way, and we love seeing growth here, here on Sub world. Now, where were we? As you move along, sub, you'll notice some dispensers. These will give you a wither skull, blaze rod, pumpkin, and beacon. Place down the beacon and that spooky scary skeleton into fire. Bring home the beacon and beaconator acquired. Remember that emerald, sub. Now's the time to trade it in for what a deal. Oh, look, a piglin. Share some gold to get yourself a crying obsidian and the advancement for who's cutting onions. Remember that wither skull sub. Place it down here to summon a nether. Then place a pumpkin onto a preset base to spawn an iron golem. You can also turn to that brewing stand to grab a potion. 
Oh, look, Sub. Some striders. How cute. Why not take this fungus on a stick and saddle and ride one for the boat has legs? But get back into your minecart now. You're not allowed to leave, remember? Also, breed those striders and also those hoglins for a later achievement. Last but not least, grab a compass and four glowstone from yet another of your dispensers. And on you go for the long stretch. At this point, the track should be taking you over the 7 kilometers needed for subspace bubble. But you'll also notice that you're passing by a fortress and a bastion. Make sure to open the bastion chest too. All that together should earn you hot tourist destination, a terrible fortress. Those were the days and war pigs. Hey, do you like how quickly we finished up all those nether advancements? Make sure to like this video if you think completing the game this way is epic. It goes a long way, and a thumbs up button means you're super awesome. Ah, back in the overworld. Take this hoe, hoe some grass to get seedy place, and get going. We've got no time to rest because you've got a bucket now, and you need a scoop of fish with it for tactical fishing. Next up, grab the item required to tame each animal, and well, get breeding. Two by two complete. Oh, I hope you visited a lot of biomes before this, by the way, sub. Because this is the last biome you would need for adventuring time. The fun never stops, sub. Use fish to tame every type of cat for a complete catalog. And best friends forever. Ooh, check out this beehive. A dispenser has given you an empty bottle and campfire, as well as a silk touch pick. First, harvest the honey using the campfire. Next, silk touch the hive with three bees in. And then use this extra honey to craft a full block. That's bee our guest, sticky situation, and total bee location out of the way. Next, we're aiming to tackle food sub. Yes, food. You notice this long stretch of track. That's for you to pick up and eat every single one individual type of food. Technically, you need a specific 39 to get the advancement, a balanced diet, and you can throw your bowls away as you finish to free up space. Ooh, an illager captain. Kill that thing for voluntary exile. Then maybe kill a few more to trigger a raid. Sounds fun, a raid in a minecart. Well, maybe not. Head to that build over there to stay protected with the villager. You'll notice you've also had some more interesting beacon effects applied to you as you're in radius. More on that later. Now it's time to go for a big one. You know you've been building up status effects, right, sub? You've got some from the food you ate. Now that beacon, and now hero of the village. Kill another villager captain to get bad omen once again. And then get some potions and splash them down until they've gone through them all. And oh look, right on cue. A puffer fish, golden apple, and suspicious stew to earn a furious cocktail. And how did we get here? Ah, it appears your minecart is drifting towards a stronghold. How fitting. You're really getting close to completing the game here, sub. But one last hurdle awaits you. The end advancements. Oh, look, an eye of Ender. Celebrate by shooting it to earn Eye Spy. And then through the portal you go. Doing that earns you the end. And now you can hop into your final minecart. This pressure plate will spawn in a dragon moments from death. Scoop up some fire breath for you need a mint. And then just give it a whack to finish the job and earn free the end. That's not all though, sir. Because to complete a Minecraft game officially, you need to resurrect the dragon too. Now that you've shown it who's boss, to do that, however, you need a dragon egg. So trigger that piston over there for the next generation. Take these end crystals and respawn that dragon, sub. That's the end. A again, completed. Nicely done. Going forward, we have nothing to worry about. Just get the cart up through that small portal wormhole thing to earn remote gateway. And wow, as luck would have it, it's totally brought us out by an end city, right near a boat. Stopping here, we can grab ourselves an Elytra, earning us the city at the end of the game and sky's the limit at the same time. Here's a chorus fruit sub. 
You're not done quite yet. These shulkers want to hit and float you high into the air, right out of your minecart. You better get this right, or you'll fall and ruin your run, meaning you'd have to do it all over again. And I'd hate for you to do that. Everyone cheer, and make sure you watch out for some of those shulker bullets. Using the pole you built earlier, you can measure your height, and finally, 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 at very long last, you'll earn the final achievement. Great view from up here. Now you've completed the game. Woo, nice. Hey, did you guys think that was cool? Have you yourself ever completed every achievement in one Minecraft world? Let us know in the comments down below and tell us what videos you want to see next. Speaking of seeing videos next, we need to get back to work sub. I totally forgot that we're cooking up more videos behind the scenes. We'll catch you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.